Calle da Silva is a short road between Gran Via and Santo Domingo from where we came. On the left, most windows closed, a hardware store, a travel agent, a laundry, and to the right, a cafe, bistro, a club and a topless bar, and lines of big waste bins. The hotel sign or flag was difficult to see due to a balcony and a big construction site next to the hotel. However, Gran Via and Coleo around the corner. I've been told in advance that the highlight of this hotel is a rooftop swimming pool and bar and after having got rid of my luggage I was keen to see that now. The room was clean and well furnished and offered all you can expect in a four-star hotel apart from daylight. When I opened the door to the tiniest balcony, I was surrounded by three dark walls that were a lot higher than my room and at the very top a neighboring wall covered with plastic due to construction works and then a tiny bit of the sky. I felt like in a chimney. No real sight, no light, definitely nothing if you tend to claustrophobia. No wake-up call necessary as 7.30 is when the work outside starts. Take a look at the very nicely decorated floors that show various scenes of Madrid as it can be seen in the hotel rooms. Now let's have a look at the praised swimming pool which according to the hotel is on the 11th floor. Well, we wanted to finish that birthday of which the hotel did not take any notice, though having been informed in advance, with a good dinner and last toasts and we were seated in the empty restaurant. Served by a very young girl, we had difficulties in ordering meals that were named, for example, Purple Rain, Duck with Color, from Burgos to Madrid, or I tell your secret. Questions what exactly it is could not be answered without disappearing into the kitchen, making us somewhat frustrated, so we ordered what we could guess what it was. Even bringing us butter for bread seemed difficult as she disappeared into the kitchen once more for a very long time. Two ladies entered the unattended place with a flyer waiting to be seated for a very long time again with no one there. Can't say anything but service here absolutely disappointing. But let me also mention the meal that we had was excellent.
So up into the Sky Lounge. For last rings, as according to the website, the best team takes care of any wishes for drinks, cocktails and shakes. Three other guests at the bar. Having had a look at the card, we saw they took their jackets and disappeared to the open top floor. Asked what to drink, the answer to do you have white Russian was a simple no. And an Irish coffee was not possible because the coffee machine did not work. Can I have a B&B &B instead? No. What is this? Any bartender would have asked, tell me what it is and how I can make it or would have offered an alternative. So frustration again and we felt like having disturbed him because when we left, the three other guests, were they guests, returned. Speechless, we decided after a great view from the terrace to try it downstairs in the gastro bar, which is downstairs on the ground floor next to the entrance. Well, we were meanwhile fed up, but the girl there did at least try to make me an Irish coffee as good as she could, but the evening was completely spoiled. Unfortunately too late, I heard from others that next door in Tanka's Café they serve all sorts of exquisite coffees and also the one I wanted. For breakfast there were three or even four service members. The choice is between three variations, the cheapest being the continental version, there was a second one I believe fitness but can't remember and for 17 euros you have the full choice of what is on the buffet and hot dishes freshly prepared. We even had a complimentary suite offered. We realized that every second person pressed the button of the coffee machine but received only hot water. There's an explanation missing that from the drawers under the machine you have to choose your kind of coffee capsule and then feed it into the machine yourself. No complaint of what we had for the full choice. I believe British people being used to sausages, eggs and bacon might order two or three of the rather small quantities which were enough for us. Quality and quantity of what we had was very good.